Welcome again, everyone. Here we are in lecture 22. I'm going to talk, ramble for a while about a topic called entropy, which is the second law of thermodynamics. You can sit back, listen, enjoy, not enjoy, have a beer, and see what you think. Okay? So we're going to talk about entropy. And I ask, so what is entropy? And for us, as you'll see, it's going to be a measure of disorder. All right, disorder. And I'll give you the law of entropy in a bit. And no math. We're all we're just talking about things. So bear with me if you would. Okay. First, I'm going to say a few words about heat engines. All right. No math. No, there's, in the book, there's a chapter for the efficiency of a heat engine. I'm not going to ask you to uh, learn that. But I, I just want to discuss something. Suppose we have a system, there's a system, and I put energy in. Okay, I'm putting energy into this system. It's good. What do I do? Why do I putting energy in? Because I want this system somehow to give me some work. I'll say useful work, but it doesn't matter. Useful work, output. Energy in, I don't care what kind of energy, useful work as output. Now, the second law of thermodynamics says that no system, no energy system, no heat engine can be 100% efficient. What does that mean? It means, suppose I put 100 units of energy, 100 joules of energy in. I can never, ever, ever get 100 joules of energy out. Never. If I got put 100 joules in and got 100 joules out, we would say our efficiency is 100%. So if you like, one statement of the second law of thermodynamics or the law of entropy is that no engine can be 100% efficient. Energy is always lost as heat or wasted energy. Okay. Now, so we have energy in, work out, energy lost. I'll sit heat, energy lost. Okay, so here's my heat engine. Now watch what I'm gonna do. This is kind of silly. Dee, 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 dee. That's you and me. That's you and me. We're heat engines. We take energy in, in the form of food. We do, hopefully, not always, sometimes we have fun. Or we have useful work, we get work out. And we sweat and we burn energy and we lose energy. So there's always energy loss. So you and I are heat engines. Okay? So the law of thermodynamics says we can never have 100%, excuse me, 100% efficiency. There's always energy loss. This energy loss is lost to the universe. What does that mean? So this heat loss is loss of and I'm going to say useful energy. Okay, it's lost to the cosmos. So let's talk about this, all right? Suppose when the universe began, and again, we believe, I'll do this in another lecture, we believe the universe began over 13 billion years ago. So suppose our universe began 13 billion years ago, and let's suppose there was X amount of energy, useful energy. So we're starting with a given amount of energy. Now, as the universe evolves, different processes occur. Stars evolve, et cetera, uh, uh, planets and whatever. Every time a system goes from state A to state B, doesn't matter. energy is being lost. So essentially, we're saying if we start the universe 13 over 13 billion years ago and we began the universe with a certain amount of energy, as the universe evolves and different processes and the evolution of the universe continues, each time a step takes place, uh, an electron goes from one state to another in your brain, an ant walks across the sidewalk, an airplane flies, the sun does a nuclear reaction, whatever is occurring in the universe. Every time a state goes from A to B, energy is being lost. Useful energy is being lost. So what does that mean? It means the amount of energy, useful energy in the universe, 
is dissipating. And eventually, this is the law of entropy, it says that the universe will have no useful energy, that everything will be lost, that the universe will be complete disorder. Okay, so let's talk about you and I for a second. I said, we're heat engines. My question is, are we a disordered system? Is human life or any type of life a disordered system? And the answer is no, we're incredibly organized. We're incredibly ordered, okay? Our hearts beat, our minds work, the cells, respiration, all these incredible things are occurring. I have a secret, I shouldn't tell you. But eventually you and I, well, maybe not me, but you, everyone's gonna die. So what happens when you die? Well, we don't know, but we do know physically what happens when we die. When we die, if you put in the ground, what happens? Well, eventually you decay. Why do you decay? Because the bugs eat you and there's nothing left of you. In other words, your organized system tends directly to disorder. You become completely disordered, okay? Let's look at the sun. Every day you look at the sun. Is the sun an organized system? Well, every day of your life, the sun looks identical and it's gonna look the same way for about 5 billion more years. You know what's gonna happen eventually? The sun is gonna die. Not a physical death like us. Uh, 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 it's gonna die a, a physical, but in a different way. It's no longer gonna be putting out radiation. So all stars eventually will die. Everything dies, everything dissipates, everything goes to total disorder. This is what the law of entropy says, that the universe becomes totally disordered. There will be no information. What is information? Well. When you read a book or, or you type in it, what happens when you type in a computer? Well, who knows what it is. You type the letter A. What is that? Well, well, let's simplify things. Inside a computer, if you have an electric signal and it can take a path to different places, if the signal goes through, you say yes. If it doesn't go through, say no. If you don't like yes and no, call it one, call it zero. Yes, no, one, zero, up, down, all these things are called binary. So your computer is based on binary. So if I type the letter A in my computer, what A is, I'm making up a pattern. A is just a pattern of ones and zeros. B is a different pattern, etc. So the entire alphabet, is just a pattern of ones and zeros, binary. In other words, every book, the Quran, the Torah, the, the Old and New Testament, uh, any book you want is made of letters. And each one of these letters is really just a system or, or a sequence of binary. So all of the universe, all the information, everything we know, everything in the universe can be written in terms of two symbols, binary. What the law of entropy or total disorder or the, it's called the heat death of the universe, is that everything in the universe will eventually die. There'll be no more stars. There'll be no more planets because those are all organized. There'll be no more books. There'll be no more cemetery stones. There'll be nothing, nothing. All information, all patterns, everything will be dissipated. The universe will be completely disordered. There will be no memory if there was anyone around. No memory of the earth ever existing, of you ever existing, of your parents ever existing, of your children ever existing, of the earth ever existing, of our sun ever existing, nothing. The universe will die. This is what we believe in physics is gonna happen. That entropy will win out, that complete disorder. So again, you and I are very ordered systems. Eventually we will pass on and our bodies will go back to complete disorder, complete chaos. Every star, which is a very organized system, very five more billion years, our sun will be radiating beautifully. And then it too will start decaying or falling apart. We're going through a red giant phase and etc. And it will no longer be a star. 
So all organized things, everything in the universe will eventually die. And that's what the second law of thermodynamics says. It says that all information, all order, everything in the universe will eventually die. And, and so the question is, why are we born? Why is there an earth? Why is there anything? Why am I doing this silly lecture? Why do I have to pass this course? Why do I want to be a nurse? All these questions are for you to answer. We don't know any whys. We don't have any answers. Is the law of entropy true? Is this second law of thermodynamics a fact? We believe it is. We believe this is the fate of the universe. Okay? This is what science tells you. What you believe is your own, you know, comes from you. Everybody is different. But this is what our science today tells us that the law of entropy, that everything in the universe will eventually tend to disorder. This is called the heat death of the universe. There will be no information, no memory of you or I or Earth or any other aliens. Okay, that, that's it. That's all she wrote. So on this very cheery note, I hope you have a great day and perhaps you're ready for a nice glass of wine. All right, have a great one. See you soon. Peace.